Do you remember a certain point in history, in YouTube history, with this channel, where I did a little, uh, little photo editing and got a little bit of flack for it, just a tad. You see, I edited a mountain into a desert. I don't think I did the best job. I got the shadows wrong. Just the idea of putting a mountain in a desert was probably wrong. I think it came out half decent, but apparently, again, it did not. This video is sponsored by Fiverr, and we are gonna go on Fiverr together as a group, and we're gonna see if there's an editor on Fiverr that can do a better job. Okay, so the plan for this video is to log on to Fiverr.com and find a bunch of people who specialize in editing photos, photo manipulation, Photoshop, artists, and we're gonna pick a few of them and we're gonna see who can edit this mountain into this photo right here. Now it's important to say this photo was taken originally by Gal Isayev, Isayev? It was taken by Gal. His Instagram is right here, credit where credit is due. And the photo is great. It didn't even need any editing. It was a beautiful capture with a great subject matter and like the whole composition was, was amazing. We originally edited this in a video series that I do called Editing Your Photos. And I believe this was episode one. This was the first episode we did with this format that was very, very popular, which we will be doing again soon. So get your photos ready. Let's find some people on Fiverr. Let's go to fiverr.com. Bam. Let's start with $5. Lee 22 Leo. I will edit and design anything in Photoshop in two hours. Two hours, let's go. Sachin 81, I will do professional Photoshop editing. 15,000 reviews. 15,000 have five starred this dude. Continue. I've got this little blurb set up for people so that when they get this image, they will know. Let's just start moving up. Let's go 25. Dominic, I will professionally edit your photos in Lightroom. I love the title of all of these. I will edit your photos fast. Sounds like a tutorial Peter McKinnon would have made two years ago. <laughs> this is like a self roast. <laughs> this is getting out of hand fast, isn't it? $35 right here for Maddie. I will edit professional Photoshop manipulation and photo retouch. That's exactly what I'm looking for. We need a myriad of options. We need a plethora of options here. Just a, a bountiful selection. 50 bucks. Let's see what this guy's got for 50 bucks. Looks like some kind of Final Fantasy screen login. They're all pretty fast turnarounds, so let's just, bam, $50. Riaz, 50 bucks, five images, $80. I will create an amazing comic for you. Let's do it. Let's get this made into a comic. $100. Big one. I will do anything you can throw at me on Photoshop. I like that. That's aggressive. I will do anything you throw at me in Photoshop for a hundred bucks. All right, man. Shadow Mountain coming at you. Bam. Two hundred and ten dollars. Not just two hundred. Two hundred and ten dollars. Cube fix. I will retouch high-end photography. We're looking for high-end results. This is a Fiverr verified pro, so I'm expecting results. Where's the original for this? I don't know, but that's what I want. People in places they shouldn't be. Sign me up. All right, and uh, those were all about one to two day turnarounds. We'll get some of them back. We'll give them a couple rounds of feedback should they need feedback at all. And then we'll, uh, we'll reconvene here in a few days. And let's see if Shadow Mountain lives another day. Okay, we are back folks, the results are in. Let's start with $5 from Lee22Leo. This is the result. Okay, let's start with the shadows are going the right way. So you've already done better than I did. <laughs> I will say what I like about this one is the perspective of the mountain makes way more sense. I put it way too big and way too close to the subject. You look at my edit and you just think, why did you do that? What were you even thinking? The fact that Lee actually shrunk this down to a perspective where it looks like maybe that could be in the distance is good. I would love to have seen it color matched a bit more. It doesn't have to be a snowy mountain. That's just the PNG that I gave people. Maybe we could have made it more like uh, one of those dusty kind of beige khaki mountains you see when you're driving from San Diego to Vegas, something like that. For five bucks, that's good. Like I, I'd be happy with that for $5. I am happy with that for $5. Sachin 81. Sachin, Sachin 81. 
Well, no. <laughs> the shadows are going the wrong way on this one, but then we moved the shadow of the woman to the same way. And it looks like we just got rid of the sun and skin tones all together. It's very corpse-like. I will give points for blending the mountain to the foreground. It's pretty clean, but again, the proportions are just wrong. Like the mountain would never be that size with a subject that size that close. It's, it's hard. Let's take a look at our next $5 seller. 812 reviews, 4.9 stars. Let us take a look. No. You know what it is too? The mountain itself doesn't even look real. The mountain is too sharp. There needs to be some obvious depth of field on that mountain. It needs to have some kind of blur on it. It would never be that sharp with the subject apparently this far away being that sharp. Fail, shadows are going the wrong way. All right, let's jump up. Let's go $25. Let's see what we got here. Let's raise the stakes. Okay. First instincts, shadows are going the right way. So we've passed level one. The color match is, is better. At least the mountain is kind of color matched to the skin tone and the, the overall photo itself. It also looks like we got some blur on the mountain in the background. Again, the proportions just look weird. And I wish if we were doing this, maybe someone had the extra effort to put a sky in or maybe make it look like there's no hidden layer that you forgot to turn back on before you exported. Sammy, what do you got for me, bud? Didn't I just say that it would be great if there was some sky left over in the background? We got some sky left over in the background. Shadows are going the right way, so we passed level one. The mountain is definitely blurred in the background, so this is pretty good. That's decent. This might be one of the best ones so far, Sammy. It seems to me like people are having a little bit of trouble blending the mountain to the foreground. It's just a very harsh line. I, I did no better job. Let's... <laughs> make that clear. So we asked in the revision, could you do a better job color matching this and maybe blending the background with the foreground? This was the revision. Dude, that's decent. Sammy, Sammy crushed me on this. Looks like he even added a whole new part to the mountain and that foreground and background. That's a perfect example of it matching well. If I saw that at a quick glance and I didn't know it was edited, I'd probably believe that was real. Minus one thing that I feel like a few people have missed so far. There's power lines in the top right of this photo, but I don't see where those power lines connect. Hmm. So far, I'm gonna say Sammy takes the lead. Let's up the ante. 35. And doesn't even come close to Sammy. Shadows are going the right way. It's color matched decently. Proportions are wrong. Not enough sky. Bummer, I was really hoping that that one would look sick. We're moving into $50. <laughs> Take a look. It's pretty good. Yeah. Shadows are going the right way. Level one, passed. Color matching could, could use a little bit of work. Not too bad. The mountain was shrunk down. I like that. It's depth of field. It's not super sharp. Proportions are a little bit better. I still don't think they're as good as Sammy's. The power lines are gone. So our boy removed them. Okay, this is a, this is like a, probably a second place for sure. We got two files in here. This is the second. Not really sure what I'm looking at here. Okay, moving on to the next one, to $80. I will create an amazing comic for you. Remember that? <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. That's great detail. Shadows are going the right way. Oh, that's awesome. That's well worth the $80. That'd be like a good art deco piece with a funky frame hanging in my office with a jar of my tears from how mean everyone was to me. It's time. It's time to move into the big leagues. Three digits, $100. The quote on the website, the quote on the page was, I will do anything you can throw at me on Photoshop. And that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's almost exactly what I was saying earlier about I kind of wanted this to look like a mountain from, you know, the drive from San Diego to Vegas, just like one of those, a drive looks like you're in the middle of a pair of khaki pants. Everything's beige. I don't think the background was blended as well as Sammy did. This background still just like a very harsh line. Now, it could look like that in real life, depending on how far the mountain was back, how low the photographer was, the angle, all those different things. This, this is real, that could happen. Um, looks like we got a little bit of cloud potentially covering the mountain there. That looks intentional, but it looks a little bit like we just took a white brush in Photoshop with like a soft edge and just hit that top of the mountain there to kind of fake what a, what a cloud cast could look like. But this is probably top three. 
you know? I would say Sammy's in the lead. Uh, we got $5 Lee in second place, and then I'm um, throw anything at me in third place right now. So I am also, let's let's go on record, I am critiquing these heavily. Most people that just want a mountain in the back of a desert photo that doesn't make any sense probably don't really care about how good the edit is because it's probably a troll or a joke anyway, which makes it even worse that I did it in real life, but. <laughs> $210. We got two versions, this was the first. Ah, I, uh, it's definitely not my favorite. Mountain's not even, there's zero depth of field on it. The sky is a bit too harsh, zero color matching on it. So we asked for a revision for the background to, to make a little more sense. So um, a tiny bit of haze was thrown into the background. I was, uh, I was, I had higher hopes for $210. I had higher hopes. Let's go back to that $5 one at the very beginning from Lee. Lee, man, you should raise your price. Let's take a look at Sammy again at $25, who's the clear winner of this challenge. Sammy, congratulations. The mountains will remember you. The Shadow Mountain Champion of 2020 goes to Sammy. That looks pretty great. That is it. That is the conclusion of Shadow Mountain. Thank you to my friends at Fiverr for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in my description below for my curated store of my favorite Fiverr sellers. And if you wanna save some money, you can use code Peter McKinnon at checkout to save 15% off, save some monies when you go edit a mountain into the back of your photos or get business cards made or have videos edited or music written or literally anything. By the way, you don't just have to buy things on Fiverr. If you think you can edit better than a lot of these people or you have a skill that you could market, Fiverr is also a great place to make money as an artist. Put yourself out there, build a portfolio and start taking orders from people like me that need graphic assistance in a multitude of different genres and different industries. So don't just think of it as a place to go to get things that you need. You could be the person also helping others with your craft. Check it out. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs> Guys, if you got needs, <laughs> if you got needs, I almost think you need like a. Ding, 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 this here is a ProTech knife. ProTech, founded by Dave, who used to be a middle school teacher, now makes knives. They make knives for Navy SEALs, for all kinds of dope military people doing cool, scary things. This is the closest I'll ever get to being a Navy SEAL. Bam. Fly the flag.